Hello again, everyone. Thank you again for stopping by and checking out another one of our lessons in our unit on the laws of exponents. In this lesson, we focus on raising products to powers. So our focus question for this lesson is, how can we raise a product to a power? Or how can we raise an entire product to one particular exponent? Now, with these questions in mind, our conceptual journey begins. And we'll start off by looking at a blue circle. Ooh. And this blue circle can represent whatever value that you would like. Now, if I were to raise this blue circle to the fifth power, let's think about a few different ways that we can write this. If we enclose the circle in parentheses, we can give it an exponent of 1, since any value raised to the 1 power is still itself. And really, any value that doesn't have an exponent really does have an invisible 1 exponent attached to it. We usually just don't write it that way. And we can understand why writing it this way is equivalent to just the blue circle to the fifth power, based on what we learned in the last lesson on the power to power rule, that when we raise one exponent to another, we simply multiply them together, and five times one does equal five. So again, this is an equivalent form to what we started with. Now let's extend this thinking to some scenario where we were multiplying three different values together. Again, we don't know what these values are, one represented by a pink circle, one by a blue circle, and one by a green circle. Now keep in mind that we're multiplying these values together. So by enclosing them in parentheses, we really want you to understand that this represents a product. And we are raising this product to some exponent, in this case, just an orange square. Now the procedure for simplifying this is very similar to the distributive property where we would be distributing that exponent to each part of the product. So if we ditch the parentheses, we can look at it this way with each separate part of the product with the exponent, or we can push the exponent off to the side and have that to everything in the parentheses. So just keep that visual aid as a concept booster in your mind right now, and let's go ahead and extend this thinking to a real example. What if we had a product just like 2xy to the third in the parentheses all raised to the fourth power? Again, we can distribute that 4, the exponent, to each part of the product and lose the parentheses. And this is an equivalent way of writing what we just had. Now to simplify, we can just go piece by piece. 2 to the fourth power is equivalent to 16. x to the fourth we're just going to leave as x to the fourth power. We can't change that. And now we have y to the third power raised to the fourth power. Using our power to power rule, we multiply the exponents together, and 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So our simplified solution is 16x to the fourth, y to the 12. <laughs> So now let's go ahead and try one more example. Here we have the product negative 2, a to the third, b to the fifth, c, and we're raising that product to the sixth power. So again, we're going to go piece by piece here. Negative 2 to the sixth is positive 64. a to the third to the sixth power is a to the 18th, since 3 times 6 is 18. b to the fifth to the sixth power, 5 times 6 is 30, so we have b to the 30th. And c to the 6th power, or c to the 1st power to the 6th power, is just c to the 6th. And now we have a simplified form of what we started with. And again, remember that these two expressions are equivalent. They are equal to each other. So in conclusion, just remember that raising a product to a power is very similar to the distributive property, as in you're distributing the exponent to each part of the product. Just keep that in mind moving forward. And again, please feel free to check out our other lessons on the laws of exponents. You guys are the best. Lots of love. Mwah. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out that lesson. And remember that we are on Twitter at MashupMath. So please give us a follow and share some love. We'd love to hear what you think. Make some requests, video requests, whatever you want. We'll listen to them. I promise you, we want to hear what you're thinking. We'll see you next time.